Well, hi guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you are doing well. What we're going to do today, flavor twisters, we are going to make some tuna salad. That's right, we're going to make some tuna salad. And we're going to use the bow tie pasta, better known as for folly. And it is um, the tricolor pasta. So you have the green spinach pasta, the um, orange tomato pasta, and the regular. Now I do have this video up on my website, but it's a quick video and it's just the words on the screen and it grows pretty fast. Um, but I wanted to do this in real time so you guys could see exactly how this tuna is made, this tuna salad's made. Now what I'm, I have here, guys, I have two tablespoons of salt in this dish. And right here, I have one fourth teaspoon of ground red pepper. I have a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I have six five ounce cans of tuna. And I also have some mayonnaise, some relish, yellow mustard. And in this dish here, I have three tablespoons of sugar. Down here, guys, I have um, four stalks of celery. I usually use two big stalks, but these are just the hearts, the center section. But I'll, I'll, I'll eyeball it on that. And I have an onion. And in this dish, I have eight hard-boiled eggs, which I'm going to chop. And I'm going to leave one egg for the garnish on the top. So I'll be chopping up seven of them. So, what I'm going to do is put these in the food processor because when I make this type of salad, I like my um, onions and my celery um, chopped real fine. I don't like big pieces. So, I'll be doing that. But right now, guys, what we're going to do, we are going to um, get our pasta boiling. I do have the water boiling, so we're going to put that in. Okay guys, you see we have our water boiling. So what I'm going to do is add a teaspoon of salt to the water. And we're going to add our noodles. Okay, is that a stir? Look at the pretty color guys. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is let this boil for about 13 to 15 minutes. I will check on it and make sure that the pasta is to the desired doneness. You don't want to overcook it, but you want it done because this is going in a salad. Okay, so we're going to let that go and I'm going to get the rest of our ingredients cut up. Now see guys, I have our celery in the food processor and I'm just going to toss this until it gets real, real fine. And I'm going to do the same thing with the onions. But I just wanted you guys to see what I was doing. And see how nice and small the pieces are. That's what you want. You don't want it in big pieces. Okay, let me get the onions going. Now, the same thing with the onion. Just get it real fine. Maybe one or two more. Okay. Now, and you can see I have this celery down here. And look how nicely fine that's chopped. That's how I like it in my tuna salad. So, let me get the eggs now. Okay, guys. Now, let's get our dressing mixed up for our tuna salad. Okay. Now what I have here, guys, I have about two cups of mayonnaise in this measuring cup. Okay. And what I'm going to do is eyeball the dressing once I get it all mixed up. Might not have to use it all on the tuna salad, but we'll see. Now... I have here a half a cup of relish, sweet relish, and I have one fourth cup of yellow mustard. 
And what we're going to do is mix this all together. Okay, let me get a better spoon here. And we're going to mix these all together. Alrighty. Okay, now I'm going to add our celery. And I'm going to add our onion. And you see how finely chopped that is. Okay. Mix this all together. Now what we're going to do is add our garlic powder, our onion powder, our paprika, and we're going to add our salt. Let me see here. There we go. And that's like two tablespoons of salt. Okay, now we're going to mix this all up. There we go. Let me get all of these stacked up here. Okay, get them out of the way. Now we also have our one-fourth teaspoon of ground red pepper. And we're going to add that. And I want to give this a taste because we still have to add our sugar. Let me get a spoon just to see what the salt levels and everything is. Definitely need the sugar. Okay. Now that was the three tablespoons of sugar. Okay, now let me taste it and see what we're looking at. Mix this off. Okay. Now, let me see. That tastes pretty good. But I think I might need a little bit more sugar. Wait, hold on. Let me get some more sugar here. Okay, guys. I have two more tablespoons of sugar, but I'm going to add about one tablespoon. Just eyeball it. And if I need some more, I'll add it in. This might do it. Okay. Now, one more taste. Just real. Let me see. I think that's it. Once I get it mixed up, I'll see. Okay, now guys, what I have here is our tricolor pasta. Isn't pretty? And I'm going to add the eggs that I cut up. I chop them. Okay. Now put that in. Now we want to give this a mix. And then we're going to add our tuna. Okay. Here we go. Now. Here's the six cans of tuna. I'm gonna add that. And what I did, guys, I don't know whether I told you or not. I when I make my tuna salad, I like using the tuna in the oil. Um, you can use water, you don't have to use the tuna in the oil, you can use the tuna in the water, but I prefer to use the oil. So it won't be as dry. 
Okay. Here we go. Look at all that tuna, guys. That's one thing about tuna salad. You want to taste the tuna. This is a lot of salad once you put everything in here. Maybe I needed a bigger bowl, but I think this will be fine. Just have to watch the way I stir it. And what I'm going to start doing is adding some of the dressing over the salad. Okay. I'll pour about half. Just a little bit more than half maybe, but we'll see. Because I don't want it dry, but I don't want it too wet either. But the noodles are cooled off. Once they boiled, um, I drained them and I rinsed them under cold water. Okay. Look at this, guys. A little piece of egg doesn't chop. I'll eat it. <laughs> okay. Now, see how that's going? Oh, yeah. It's going to need more dressing, though. See all of that tuna and everything? You want it all coated? Oh, it smells good. Okay. But we might not have to use all the dressing. I'm just going to use maybe a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Let me get it. See how much is in there, so I'll probably use half of that. And that may do it. Nice and creamy. There we go. I think that's the consistency I want. It's better to have too much dressing prepared than not enough. So even if we don't use it all, but at least we have it just in case we need it more. And I would have to mix up some more stuff in here. Look at this. Mmm, yeah. Then I'm going to have to taste this for salt and pepper levels. Oh, guys, this looks really good. It smells delicious. I just want to get it blended really well. Okay, I'm going to have to get a fork and taste this salad. It really looks good. Okay, let me get me a fork. I can pins off here. Okay. Let me taste. Mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. That is really good, guys. Mmm. It's enough salt. I can taste the twang of the um, ground red pepper. I taste the onion powder, onion garlic powder, and everything in here. Okay. I think I'm going to need that other tablespoon of sugar. And that should do it. So that'll be five tablespoons of sugar instead of three. Okay. Then I'm going to put this in the serving bowl, guys, and slice the egg over it, the paprika. And this tuna salad, I believe, is ready to go. Let me taste it one more time since I put the sugar in it. Okay. Let me see. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now that's it. It needed that other spoon of sugar. So now, guys, what I'm going to do... I'm going to get this in a serving bowl. Look at that. Doesn't that look good and creamy? 
Oh, look at that, guys. Now, this is tuna salad. It's tuna all through here. Okay. Here we go. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the serving bowl, and I'm going to show you how I garnish it. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I have our tuna salad in a bowl here, and I sliced the egg over it. Let me move this back so you can see it. And I put some paprika on the top. Doesn't that look good, guys? And look at this. Let me show you how nice and creamy this is. Look at this, guys. Mmm, yum. You can see the cream in it. It's nice and creamy. Mm. You have to make this for your family, guys. Um, this tuna salad is delicious. And how I like to serve this, I like to serve this with some crackers. Either some club crackers or Ritz crackers. And um, just shoot some up. Get you some crackers and just go for it this salad is amazing it's good for lunch brunch or nighttime snack or whatever you want to serve it for and you know the funny thing is a lot of times when i make this tuna salad i serve it beside fried chicken <laughs> and you would think tuna salad and fried chicken but i'm trying to tell you when my sons come over they tear it up so just do you guys on this um, the ingredients will be down in the description box, but like I said, when it comes to the salt and the sugar, do it to your own taste, um, and you should be fine, but this is how Flavors with a Twist does their tuna salad. This is the tuna, you could say macaroni salad with the bow tie pastas, but I use the three, the tri-color pasta. In my quick video, it was just the plain noodles, but it was still bow tie. So, whichever one you want to use, guys. So, this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Um, all my flavor twisters and YouTubers, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be alerted of all the recipes that I upload. And to all my flavor twisters, this is Donna. Bye.